Deciduous forests are vast and full with trees, animals, and plants. The cycles in forests help all animals and plants survive. Dibiotic and abiotic factors all play a role in the ecosystem. Today, we will be discussing the things in a deciduous forest. We will start with the carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen cycles. The oxygen and carbon cycles run together, mostly in the form of carbon dioxide. Many things can put carbon dioxide, or CO2, the main part of the cycle, into the atmosphere. Clearing forests for crops with forest fires, humans burning fuels for energy, decomposers putting carbon dioxide in the air, and animals, mostly cows, breaking down sugars and releasing carbon dioxide by hexhaling, and flatulence, are some of the ways carbon dioxide is put into the atmosphere. Once the carbon dioxide is in the atmosphere, it is brought down to forests where the trees use the carbon dioxide for energy and release oxygen into the air. The oxygen is taken in by animals, used for energy, and released as carbon dioxide. More oxygen is taken in by decomposers, such as mushrooms, and released into the air as carbon dioxide, and the cycle continues. The nitrogen cycle can be achieved in a much smaller area, like a single farm. Free nitrogen in the air is put into the air by bacteria living in soil when the bacteria take in nitrogen compounds. When plants take in the nitrogen, bacteria in the roots turn the nitrogen into other compounds. The plants use the compounds to make proteins and complex compounds. The animals who eat the plants consume the nitrogen compounds, and when the animals die, decomposers like mushrooms break down the complex compounds back into simple compounds. The bacteria get the simple compounds, and the cycle starts again. These cycles keep going, and all biotic factors get something out of it. If the carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen cycles didn't exist, nothing would be able to survive. Biotic and abiotic factors make up all of the things in a biome. The biotic things are living, this includes dead things, and the abiotic things are non-living. Examples of biotic factors in a deciduous forest are cows, sheep, pigs, trees, and flowers. Examples of abiotic factors are rivers, soil, and air. Certain abiotic factors tend to help with certain organisms, giving the organism what they need. In a biome, each biotic factor has niches, or what they do for their ecosystem. All the nitrous animals have help up with the, all the organisms in the ecosystem. I hope you enjoyed this short presentation about the deciduous forest.